The blast of water cannon the Chinese Ghost Guard fired on their Philippine counterparts in the Ayungan Shoal smacks of arrogance and disrespect, but falls short of setting in motion the mutual defense treaty given water spray or hosing down does not fall under the definition of armed attack. Still, that encounter has galvanized the country's patriots and government and the military, which looks forward to a makeover and retooling of the BRP Sierra Madre that Bayer Bernardo dwells on, among others, in this report. The United States has repeatedly said that a mutual defense treaty can be triggered as China continues to harass the country's ship in the West Philippine Sea. In the latest incident, China Coast Guard fired a water cannon at a Philippine ship while on a resupply mission. Therefore, legislators wanted to know if the water cannon is considered an armed attack. Sabi doon sa provisions ng guideline, cyber attacks and non-conventional threats. Ano yun? Non-conventional ba ba yung water cannon? Kung tanungin mo yung Bureau of Fire, conventional yan. Pero pag tanungin mo yung, uh, yung Pilip Philippine Coast Guard, unconventional yan. The Foreign Affairs Department disclosed that two countries are still studying this aspect. The DFA earlier said it is not yet time to activate the Mutual Defense Treaty. Defense officials requested an executive session when asked about the plan for the rehabilitation of BRP Sierra Madre. The department is also open to all options to protect the contested territory and the soldiers stationed in the high seas, including the suggestion to let a U.S. ship join the resupply mission for BRP Sierra Madre. We are actually exploring all possibilities, all options regarding the RORE, regarding the rotation and the supply of our uh, personnel of the UN. And as of now, we can still uh, handle the situation. Foreign Affairs Secretary Enrique Manalo said that he has not yet received any proposal from China to discuss the issue in the West Philippine Sea. Not me, I'm not aware of any. But I mean, uh, you know, we're willing to talk. Meanwhile, the China-ASEAN discussion on the code of conduct in the South China Sea is scheduled in the Philippines next week. The lawmakers recognize that the armed forces of the Philippines needs to strengthen the country's set reliance in equipment and assets to guard our territory. Senator De La Rosa stressed the budget of the DND needs to be increased for AFP's modernization. The committee also discussed the landing of some U.S. military planes at the Neia without any clearance. While the United United States obtained clearances, including diplomatic clearance. The hearing revealed the U.S. did not coordinate with its ground handler in the country who should contact the Manila International Airport Authority for the plane's landing. We have already called the attention of the U.S. Embassy to this and they have provided us assurances um, that um, they will try as much as possible not to make this happen again. I don't think anyone is in a position to say it's absolutely never going to happen again, but we definitely will be more vigilant in terms of monitoring and vetting all of these requests. The National Security Council assured that the foreign planes arriving in the country are being monitored daily. Bayo Bernardo for The Nation.